<laughs> hey, it's Marie Forleo, and you are watching Marie TV, the place to be to create a business and life you love, and that's what you are, right? It's Q and A Tuesday, and you know what that means? We got a question, and it comes from Deb, and she writes. Dear Marie, thank you for being so wonderful. Marie TV has given me the confidence to get to work and create my dream life. That's awesome. I heard you say several times that the more you give, the more you will receive. I trust you when you say this, but this is a hard concept for me. My whole life, I've watched my mom be very generous with her time and resources. She gives far more than she receives, and it seems to me that this approach has not worked for her. I've watched as others feel it's okay to take advantage of her. Friends, family, and colleagues expect her to step up and do the extra work when it needs to be done. Watching my mom, I've become afraid of being a doormat. When I give, I give with the mindset of how much I'm going to get back from this. This doesn't feel good. How do you give more than you receive without being taken advantage of? Thanks, Deb. Deb. This is a fantastic question. So first, we need to clarify because I rarely, if ever, use the phrase, the more you give, the more you'll receive. What I do often say is that my life is about what I can give, not what I can get. And there is a huge difference. And that's part of where you're getting tripped up here. Your statement essentially says, I'm going to give a lot so that I receive a lot. And that framework has nothing to do with generosity. It's more like a transaction, a tit for tat, keeping score kind of thing. Here you go, Jams. Oh, Marie, thank you. I don't even know what I did to deserve this. Well, according to my records, nothing yet. But if you could、um, give me something of equivalent value back by the end of next week, I think we'll be square. Oh yeah, you know what? I made the bed last week, and I don't think that you got me back yet. So I'm、um, just saying, I'm a giver. Here's the thing: the joy of giving doesn't come with an expectation of what you're gonna get back. That defeats the whole purpose. So, Deb, if you don't want to be a Debbie doormat, I want you to recognize the big difference between giving to give and giving to get. So, we all know somebody who gives to get, right? This is the person that drives everybody to the airport. They do everybody else's dishes. They volunteer to host the baby shower, and all of this seems perfectly generous, except for the spirit in which they do it. It's a spirit of, ah, I'll do it because if I don't, nobody else will, and that's usually followed by this attitude of resentment. This attitude of. Oh, I don't know why I do all this and might never get anything in return. I guess I just expect too much from people. Martyr alert! Martyr alert! Martyr alert! When you give to get, all you're really gonna get is the experience of being put upon, this experience of being a victim, and probably feeling like a doormat. Now, on the other hand. Giving to give is where all the magic's at. You want to give of yourself because you actually want to do it. You want to offer your time and your love and your heart and your resources, whatever, with zero expectation of getting anything in return. So you do something purely out of your desire to connect with another human being. It's it's really a gift. It's not a loan, not a trade, not a transaction. It's a gift. Now here's the big wake-up call you need, Deb. You can be deeply generous with your time and your resources, and you can have boundaries and say no. Here's the secret: only say yes to the things that you're willing to do joyfully. Don't say yes because you want something in return, including gratitude or kudos or appreciation. <laughs> Thanks, you guys.、Uh, I don't even need all that because I was just giving to give. You want to say yes because you genuinely want to help. You want to give of yourself and express love and caring for another human being. And once you say yes to something, don't victimize yourself when it comes time to do it. Either do it passionately, like it was your idea in the first place, or don't do it at all. Look, if someone says, "Hey, Deb." Can you walk my dog? And you don't have the time, or you just don't want to say no. That's not being stingy or ungenerous. That's called being honest. But 
back to where we first started, Deb. It is true that when you focus more on what you can give versus what you can get, it is likely you're going to be happier and more successful. But here is the catch. You cannot do this as a manipulation. You have to give from a genuine place, from a desire to express your love and service to others with no expectation of what you're going to get in return. And if you need a reminder, come back to this tweetable. You can never give too much if you're giving to give, not giving to get. That was my A to your Q, Deb, and I really do hope it helps. Now, I would love to hear from you. I think we've all done both versions, right? Giving to give and giving to get. Is there any area of your life right now where you feel like you're just giving too much and you're starting to feel resentful? Do you need to start giving to give or is it time to start saying no? Turn this insight into action by leaving a comment below. And as always, the best discussions happen after the episode over at marieforleo.com. So go there and leave a comment now. Did you like this video? Yeah? If so, subscribe to our channel and it would be amazing if you shared this with your friends. And if you want even more resources to create a business and life that you truly love, plus some personal insights from me that I only share in email, come on over to marieforleo.com and make sure you sign up for email updates. Stay on your game and keep going for your dreams because the world needs that special gift that only you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Marie TV. Ready to find your voice and sell with heart? We'll show you how. Get started now with our free writing class at thecopycure.com. Side effects include enlarged profits. If you could turn off your phones, turn them off, turn them off. Da -na 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 -na, da -na 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 -na. Oh, whoa, oh. Watch me. Watch me. Yeah. Watch me. When to do that, do that. Who's that, Elsa? And to do that, do that. We didn't, we don't did that. We don't did it. Spice.